Our product for this week is Levideo, Levideo Pro. These guys haven't come out with anything for a while, which is unusual for all our PowerPoint folks. <laughs> That's for sure. And we put a link for this in the chat box for you. This is the launch special stuff. You're going to want to check that out. Go over here. There's a few things I like about it that I will hit just real quick. First of all, it's a nice big collection as we're usually used to by now. One-click color changer. I'm going to show you that real quick. Uh, the other interesting thing is, that's kind of nice is that beyond the flexible design that they always have, it comes in a bunch of different formats, so you can use them uh, to a degree in other presentation apps. Of course, they'll work best in PowerPoint because it's the best one. But they also have interactive games and you can create like e-courses or, or things like that. So let me jump down here. Uh, you can hit the preview button here and look at all the various modules and things. Beautiful design for their video and presentations as usual. The games are kind of cool. You can use them as a template modify them and create little quizzes or even you know some pretty decent courses learning opportunities for your viewers because they are interactive and I'm going to show you how that works in just a second uh, and you can check out all of the other you know stuff that they have here I'm not going to belabor that too much I do want to give you a couple of tips and or tricks here one of the things is that, and not a lot of people know you can do this, but technically speaking, you can embed PowerPoint slide decks, and these happen to have interactivity to them on a web page, right? And you could just embed a regular slide deck if you want people to be able to scroll through and, and use them and stuff like that, but here's basically how that works. Uh, there's a couple of criteria here. Oh yeah, I made some bullets. Let's do that. How about to embed these, first of all, there is an article from Microsoft that you can go see. That is in your links. First of all, you want to save whatever presentation you're working on to a public folder on your OneDrive. And everybody gets like some OneDrive space. So you got to do that. Then you have to use the PowerPoint for web app. And you can get to that is also in your links. I'll demo this for you in just a minute. Then you navigate to File, Share, Embed. Click the Generate button. Change the dimensions. Copy the code and paste it as an iframe. All right, so let's take a look at that basically. Here is the page that tells you how to do it all. all right, and that's basically what I kind of just went over. Uh, let's open up one of the, the video slide presentations here. This is, you know, just a very nice thing. It's got some actionable items, links, clickable links in it. So you could go through such a thing as this and, you know, just use like the buttons and you change some stuff and the little video tutorials on it are actually quite good. I'm not going to get into that too much, but you would make all your changes and all that good stuff and you would save, save a copy and you would save it to your OneDrive. Okay, and that's what I've done with this one. I saved it into a folder called LaVideo on my OneDrive. Okay, and I actually have a couple of versions here. So, the next thing you do is you use that PowerPoint on the web. Here's my office stuff, and if I click this, it'll open up the PowerPoint on the web. So here is PowerPoint but it's just running on the web. And the reason they have to do this is because this this needs to live somewhere on the web, right? To be able to embed it in a shareable way on the web. And then when you go to file on the web, you share and there's an embed option. So we do that. You can change the height and width and it's going to give you an embed code. You just copy this, okay? Copy that. Go to your website, web page. I'll go ahead and edit this post. Okay, and then, on, of course, the text portion. I'm using WordPress, but anywhere you can embed an iframe, I just pasted the code in, okay? 
and boom, there it is. So people can s slip through the slides like this. The menus and things are interactive, so they can jump around. Again, you can make like a little course or a little game or I don't know, whatever you want to do, but not a lot of people know you could do this. And the templates that they give you are nice. I like them.